let us consider one more questions. Let star be a binary operation defined on the set of rational numbers defined by a star b equal to a b by 4. Find identity. Let star be the binary operation defined on the set of rational numbers defined by a star b equal to a b by 4. Suppose e is the identity then according to the definition a star e must be equal to a that is a e by 4 equal to a that is e equal to 4 which is the required value of identity and that belongs to the set of rational numbers. The value of x which satisfies this expression is x greater than or equal to 0. Let us consider third question. Construct a 2 cross 2 matrix A equal to Aij whose elements are given by half into modulus of minus 3i plus j. Let us consider the answer. For that consider the element Aij equal to half into modulus of minus 3i plus j. We have to define the function We have to construct a matrix A of order 2 cross 2. So first entry will be A11, then A12, A21, A22. So consider A11. Value of i is 1, value of j is also 1. So half into minus 3 plus 1. Minus 3 plus 1 becomes minus 2. Modulus of that becomes 2. So we will get half into 2 that is 1. Consider a12. Value of i is 1, value of j is 2. So half into modulus of minus 3 plus 2. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1, modulus of that becomes 1. So we will get half into 1 that is half. Consider a21. Value of i is 2, value of j is 1. So, half into modulus of minus 6 plus 1. That is minus 5. If you take the modulus of that, we will get 5 by 2. And finally, A22. That is half into value of i is 2. Value of j is also 2. So, minus 6 plus 2. Minus 6 plus 2 is minus 4. If you take the modulus of that, that becomes half into 4. That is 2. Therefore, the required matrix A is equal to 1, 1 by 2, 5 by 2 and 2. Next move on to question number 4. Find the values of x for which determinant 3x x1 is equal to determinant 3 to 4 1. Let us consider the answer. Consider the value of the determinant 3x x1 that is 3 minus x square equal to if you find the value of this determinant that is 3 minus 8. So cancel 3 on both the sides. We will get x square equal to 8. x is equal to plus or minus root 8 or plus or minus 2 root 2. Let us move on to the question number 5. Find dy by dx if y is equal to sine of x square plus 5. Let us consider y is equal to sine of x square plus 5. If we differentiate this, dy by dx is equal to derivative of sine is cos of x square plus 5. Then using chain rule application, derivative of x square plus 5. So derivative of x square is 2x. Let us consider question 6. Evaluate integral e to the power x into x minus 1 by x square dx. That is 
a to the power x into x minus 1 by x square dx can also be written as integral e to the power x into if you divide each numerator by denominator we'll get 1 by x minus 1 by x square dx and this is of the form integral e to the power x suppose if we take 1 by x as the function f then minus 1 by x square is the derivative of that dx so integral e power x into f of x plus f dash of x dx is e to the power x into f of x plus c therefore if we use this formula we'll get e to the power x into 1 by x plus c write the direction cosines of x axis the direction cosines of x axis are 1 0 0 let us consider question number 8 if p of a is 3 by 5 p of b is 1 by 5 find p of a intersection b if a and b are independent events we know that when a and b are independent events probability of a intersection b is equal to probability of a into probability of b that is 3 by 5 into 1 by 5 that is 3 by 25 